I recently published a capsule on the problems with stimulants, why I don't like them. Uh, I explain exactly why I personally stay away from stimulants, because they increase cortisol in the long run, which eventually lead to a, a decrease in testosterone levels. So basically, stimulants can kill your long-term progress when it comes to body composition and improvement in performance. But there are other issues, uh, because stimulants play a role in neurological balance. All right. Uh, one thing I always emphasize is that to have a high energy, high motivation, and high work capacity, you want dopamine to be higher than serotonin. Now, one thing you have to understand is that adrenaline is produced from dopamine. So the more adrenaline you have to produce, the more you're taking that dopamine that you want to keep high, and you transfer it, transform it to adrenaline, or epinephrine and then nor norepinephrine and then epinephrine. So the more I'm asking my body to produce adrenaline, the more I'm crashing down my dopamine. Stimulants, that's what they do. Stimulants tell your body to overproduce adrenaline. So that means that you are taking more of that dopamine to fabricate adrenaline. If your dopamine levels are already low, what happens is that you will crash it. So yes, for that one workout, you have more energy. But then the next day, you might have what we call a workout hangover, which is a sign of crashed dopamine. And until you restore it, then you can't train hard again. Now the, and then if you take stimulants, you keep crashing that dopamine, and you can never replenish it. So stimulants, on top of being bad for cortisol, for tanking down testosterone, they can also mess up your neurological profile, uh, eventually leading to uh, a decrease in motivation, drastic decrease in work capacity. And they become a crutch, but they also eventually lead to a state where even the stimulants are not enough to maintain a high work capacity. So it's really a bad thing to take. I mean, once in a while, like for a competition or something, it might be used, but as a training tool, it will have a very negative impact on your capacity to train hard and, and all that stuff. Now, another downside of stimulants, all right, that is for people with a high anxiety level. If someone has a high anxiety level and they take stimulants, then they become even more anxious. Now, anxiety leads to an overproduction of cortisol, which is bad. But also, anxiety leads to muscle tightness, especially in the flexor muscles. So if I'm overly anxious, my posture become more like this because my flexors become tight. Now, if I have to squat my, when my flexors are tight, if flexors I'm squatting like this, I'm losing mobility, it's unsafe, it's ineffective. If I have to bench press when my flexors are tight, my biceps are tight, anterior deltoid are tight, my shoulders are forward, so I'm fighting against myself to press heavy weights. So it becomes much harder to press heavy and much less safe. So either those stimulants tank your dopamine and really kills your capacity to train hard for the whole week, or they increase anxiety, which decreases workout efficiency and actually increase cortisol. So it's really not something you want to use in training.